Hey there guys, Zach here from Inbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're unboxing and taking a first look at the white Microsoft Lumia 650 from, well, Microsoft. This device is on sale starting today for £160 from the Microsoft UK store and is aimed at business users, although I imagine a number of just general consumers would enjoy this device greatly simply because of how it looks. It's one of the first Microsoft Lumia devices to feature a metal rim so it's a brushed aluminium metal design feels nice in the hand pretty lightweight five inches and relatively cheap it's 160 pounds sporting a low spec cpu and a gigabyte of ram with an amoled 720p screen not too bad uh, for the price so let's actually just get started with the unboxing so diving straight into the unboxing this is the lumia 650 box pretty standard for a lumia device especially for a low-end lumia device we've got the device on the front of the box nothing on the bottom then we've got obviously the Microsoft Lumia 650 branding on the left hand side, nothing on the top. On the back, a little bit about the device. Of course, we've got the brand again, the Lumia 650, as well as a few icons about what actually comes in the box. Qualcomm Snapdragon logo up there and a Microsoft logo at the bottom for good measure. So not much on the box, a pretty standard Lumia box if I do say so myself. Then pulling the device out, you can see the white Lumia 650 in all of its glory, in all of its wrapped glory, as you can see here. So if we put that off to one side for just a second, let's take a look at what's actually in the box. It would come with a battery, although I've already put the battery in the device, so that's why it's not in there. Uh, so we've got products and safety, boring paper, so we're gonna just not look at that. And then of course we've got a charging port. Now this is just standard Microsoft charging port that you get in the UK, nothing fantastic. It's got a little push up bit there, which is really fun. And then you've got your Microsoft logo and of course it's a micro USB connector so nothing special here, no USB type C or anything like that. Just your run of the mill micro USB charger. Now let's take a look at the device itself. We've got a 5 inch 720p AMOLED screen as well as metal uh, brushed aluminium kind of button design on the side here, very nice indeed. Then on the back we've got an 8 megapixel rear shooter as well as a flash and a Microsoft logo which is kind of standard on all Lumias these days, no longer do they come with a Nokia logo. They've been Microsoft logos for quite some time now. On the top we've got a 3.5mm headphone jack and on the bottom we've got a micro SD, not micro SD, micro USB connector for the charger and to plug into a PC or something. Now you can also take the back off the device to get access to a nano SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot as well as the 2000 milliamp hour battery. Taking off and putting the rear shell on the device is actually pretty simple. You just simply have to snap it into place just like I'm doing here on video. Very simple, kind of like any other Lumia ever, nothing too complicated there. And getting the back off is actually easier. So <laughs> there you go. Now the setup process is pretty much like you would expect any Windows phone setup process to be, except since this is a Lumia 650, it's running Windows 10 out of the box. So you get additional kind of steps stuff but it's pretty much all the same once you get past the initial setup you get your start screen which is very very nice indeed so I think we're about to jump to that I have no idea yes yeah, so take a look at the back again let's also take a look at the proximity sensor and the uh, proximity sensor and the front facing camera because they're quite prominent on the white version of the Lumia 650 but once that's done you're all set and you're ready to go so you press done and I advise you do some updates first as this as the Lumia 650 does ship with Windows 10 but it ships with an older build of Windows 10 build 10.5 6.11 there should be a software update available when you open it up and there should also be 40 or so app updates to do so we're actually going to show you that here if we jump into the settings app here I can confirm that if we go into about you will see that we are running build 10.5.86.11 which is now fairly old compared to the latest available software update which is 10.5.86.107 and you can check for updates via the phone update area and you should see it pop up there. Like I also mentioned, there are about 40 or so app updates that you're going to want to do before you start using the device properly as the apps that come pre-installed with the Lumia 650 and with most Windows 10 devices 
um, today are kind of outdated uh, because Microsoft has done a lot of improvements to them since the build actually shipped. So you can update all those apps separately after you've done a software update and then your device should be good to go. Now, since this is a Windows 10 device, it comes with all the Windows 10 goodies such as Cortana, Microsoft Edge, which is actually a pretty good browser, especially on low end hardware. It utilizes a number of Windows 10 specific APIs just to make it perform good on mobile, especially with a low end CPU, which since this is the Lumia 650, it sports a Snapdragon 212 processor. That's a pretty low spec CPU. And as you can see, Edge performs just fine on it. It loads up web pages relatively quickly. Uh, performance is great. And it's just an all round good browser for Windows 10 on low end handsets. Speaking of performance, the Lumia 650 uh, general use is pretty good. With the low spec CPU and one gigabyte of RAM, it should be able to handle most tasks unless you're playing intensive games or you multitasking with a lot of apps. Uh, using the, the phone just generally with a few apps open, switching between them uh, and just browsing the web, checking email, maybe watching a YouTube video, playing a light game, this device should be good for you. It shouldn't lag, it shouldn't be ridiculously slow. It performs all right, as you can see here, I'm switching between a number of different apps and the apps are loading up uh, you know, quite quickly and are performing with no real issues. Now the Lumia 650 does come with a few pre-installed apps. All of them are uninstallable, however, so they will not take up any space you don't want them to be taking up. It comes with Amazon, Audible, Daily Mail Online, Group Me, Just Eat, Lumia Help and Tips, Lumia Offers, and a few others such as Shazam and I think Skype, although Skype technically doesn't count since it's a first party app because it's Microsoft service. Anyway, it comes with a few of them. All of them are uninstallable if you don't want them. Uh, but yeah, that's the Lumia 650 on sale right now for £160 from Microsoft. Uh, aimed at business users, however, it, it's a pretty good Windows phone for consumers as well, I'd say. So thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.